after the spill, because uh, I was in the Gulf as it happened, we were warned we couldn't go back in the area. I mean, it was like no fish. The water was so polluted. Soon after the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, a council of federal and state trustees formed to assess damages to natural resources in the Gulf of Mexico and plan for their restoration. One of the projects selected was the Oceanic Fish Restoration Project, which partnered with fishermen to restore fish. Pelagic fisheries resources are lucrative resources and very valuable to the United States. NOAA has partnered with the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation to execute restoration in multiple different facets, including the Oceanic Fish Restoration Project. The Oceanic Fish Restoration Project seeks to work in cooperation with pelagic longline fishermen in the Gulf of Mexico to restore um, pelagic and, and other fish species that were harmed by the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Each year since the project began in 2017, about half of the Gulf Pelagic Longline fleet, including fishermen from Louisiana, Florida, and Texas, participated in a voluntary repose, a six-month pause on Pelagic Longline fishing. Participants were financially compensated and had the option to continue to fish using alternative gear. The primary goal was to be able to leave more fish in the water, to give fish more of an opportunity to grow and reproduce. And the way we did this is we partnered with fishermen. So for six months of a year, they agreed to not use their traditional gear. And this allowed more fish to be able to stay in the water. The repo for the uh, six months, it was very good for us. The second goal of the project was to help alleviate some of the economic impact. We wanted them to still be able to be on the water and to be able to collect some fish. And this also helps support the shoreside businesses that rely on fish coming over the dock. The project wants to provide those fishermen alternative gear that captures the same types of species as pelagic longline. There's three gears. The first one is green stick, the second one is gooey gear, and the other one is called deep drop. NOAA and the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation partnered with community liaisons who work with fishermen to install the alternative gear on their vessels and train them on best practices. Well, my role is to keep up with the pulse of the fishermen, the participants that are involved in this, and, and, and act as a communicator between them and, and the managers and scientists. With this alternative gear project, we're making shorter trips. With this stuff, they're three, four, five days old. Kaboom! That's fresh fish. I sell out here at Katy Seafood. With the green stick fishing, I haven't had to change anything. I'm able to retail it just like long line tuna. I've long line for 41 years, but I fished my whole life. Alton gear works good. It's a very good fishery. Now he's a good fisherman. So now that he's learned the technique of buoy fishing, he can take all the information and knowledge that he's had over the years and train up the next generation of buoy fishing. The benefit of this project was to connect NOAA, NIFWIT, to the Vietnamese fleet. Everybody that's connected to this project is hoping to give a fighting chance for these fish to come back. The project's last repose ended in June 2022, six years after the start of the initiative. Thanks to the participation of the fishermen, the project has helped keep more fish in the water to grow and reproduce. We've taken some pressure off of the resource which translates into, you know, rebuilding the stocks. Throughout the duration of the project, they left over a million pounds of fish in the water, which ends up being about 35,000 individual fish from over 60 species. By working with fishermen to test new and alternative gears, it gives them a chance to figure out what may work for them in the future. And these gears in particular are focused on reducing bycatch. So one of the results was 90% of the bycatch was released alive. There was a lot of enthusiasm and remains a lot of enthusiasm. The fishermen don't want this to end, by the way. They keep saying, can we get one more year? I think we've been really, really fortunate to get some of the cream of the crop involved. It's really been a great experience. The Oceanic Fish Restoration Project is a good example of what happens when you have stakeholders in the fishery that come together to be able to restore this. And this partnership and this project laid the groundwork for future projects. This is one of many projects designed to benefit the natural resources in the Gulf of Mexico using funds from the legal settlement with BP. Participating vessel owners are supporting a healthier Gulf of Mexico for generations to come.